Hi, I'm uh, Thomas. I work with Ravensburger. Uh, Ravensburger is Europe's largest traditional board game publisher and jigsaw puzzle maker. I run the digital business unit, so we've gone and taken a very traditional board gaming experience, namely the jigsaw puzzle, and taken that all digital. And we're going to release it on iPad next week, and I'll be happy to give you a first uh, look at it. So this is uh, the full world of Ravensburger Puzzle. Anyone interested in jigsaw puzzles will know that we have hundreds and hundreds of these uh, available as, as traditional products. And we've gone and really included all of that in one kind of framework puzzle app. So you've got one app and you can download all the puzzle motif content into that single app in all shapes and sizes. Uh, so basically you've got your tutorials up here when you come in. Uh, and those will lead you through the basics and then some tools and additional functionality and the menus and you can take that whenever you want to step by step it's fairly intuitive um, then on the bottom here you've got my puzzles obviously uh, which are those motifs that you already have in your own collection and you always have like half a dozen to start out with uh, as soon as you download the app it'll show you to what degree those are finished or whether you haven't even started them yet um, so you can always go and see what puzzles you're currently working on. Uh, up here you have basically featured certain themes of content um, that you may want to look at um, depending what style of motifs you like. And then here's the puzzle shop uh, where we always give you kind of a, a feature of the latest puzzles available and then basically you have literally hundreds of motifs that are available that you can choose from uh, whatever you want. Or you can say, you know, I'm the kind of guy that only likes to puzzle uh, whatever, food and drink. Then there you go, you get all food and drink motives. Uh, puzzlers are, are predominantly um, casual gamers, uh, more female than, than, than male. Uh, so um, we have all kinds of themes for, for whatever taste uh, you may want to have. So then if you go into a puzzle, uh, you just click on it and say you can see to what degree it's finished right now. Then you have this slider here on the side which lets you choose how many pieces that is. So 20 is the easiest and you can basically, um, yeah, I'll have to do that new, basically go up and down here, uh, let me see. And then you can see how the puzzle uh, changes. If you're really crazy about it, you can try 500 pieces. I've never done that, but there's people who love to do that, and even on an iPad, it's absolutely possible. So I'll take the very easy one. That's about all I can handle. Uh, just click on uh, puzzling, then it actually runs all the calculations, phys physically cuts up the pieces, and there they are. We've really tried uh, very hard to make it. Uh, as close as possible to the, the tactile puzzle experience. Yeah. Uh, so you can basically drag and, and, and slide around uh, those pieces. Obviously you can, you can pull them in and uh, see if you um, like to puzzle in, in a more close-up. You can have the motive as a background, bring that in, and then just whenever you basically already can uh, can get into it now. I'm pretty terrible at doing this um, because I'm obviously not as good as my team who has worked on this for a long time. You can zoom in and out as much as you want to and you see here obviously uh, you have if you want to certain features which you can cheat essentially and get get some help and get it quicker like you can do the entire framework first and then it gives you the framework which is basically ready, you can drag it up and then, and then you're right there. Yeah. Um, or it'll help you kind of find connecting pieces, uh, turn them in the right direction and find uh, all the pieces. You can collect them down here in various uh, forms, like you can collect various colors and just bundle them up and then whenever you need to you can, you can bring them back out. Um, so that's like the, the very basic setting. And then as you progress, you can test more features and, and add-ons. And we can, I mean, we can see how it looks uh, if you dare to um, do a 500, 500 piece puzzle. Um, actually needs to, OK, 
calculate for a second um, because these are the original forms of the physical puzzles. So there you go. If you have some time in your hands, you can, <laughs> you can, uh, you can spend uh, many, many evenings uh, going through that and um, collecting those in, in the right forms and shapes. Yeah. Added some, uh, you may have seen this little physics effect, so we can, if you pile them up, did you see that? So there's actually a physics engine behind it to try and make it as, as tactile as possible uh, an experience. Yeah. So this is going to come out uh, next week um, worldwide, and we're really looking uh, forward to um, get it available for all the puzzle fans out there.